let's talk about radioactivity because I had an erroneous notion of what radioactivity was. I thought that if you had something that had like a half-life of a day and you had something that had a half-life of a million years, it meant that the dude that was radioactive for a day is like for a day and then oh, I'm done. And the dude who's half-life for a million years is like for a million years and then done. Okay, so you go, well, which one of these is more dangerous? Well, definitely the one that's got a half-life of a million years, because that's got to be like radioactive forever, and the dude that's radioactive for a day, that's not a big deal, right? Completely wrong. Okay, utterly backwards. The dude who's radioactive for a day is really, really radioactive. The dude who's radioactive for a million years is hardly radioactive at all. Which one of those two is more dangerous? The one that's radioactive for a day, by a long shot. Okay, so your radioactivity is directly and inversely proportional to your half-life. So somebody goes to you, there's something that's got a half-life a million years. Scary, huh? And you're giving it to me, I'll put it in my hand. It's not going to hurt me. It's not going to hurt me. There's something that's got a half-life of a day. You want to hold, no, no, keep it away from me, man. That stuff is hot. But it's going away fast, too, right? It's got a longer half-life. It's less dangerous. 